you are not using this amazing Canva tools, then my friend, this is the reason why your designs look so boring and low quality. So in this video, I'm going to show you the most important Canva tools that will make your designs look more professional. So let's get started. The very first app on our list is called Font Frame. Font Frame is a Canva app that lets you put a photo inside your text. This means instead of your letters having one plain color, they can be filled with any image you like. For example, if you write the word summer, you can fill it with a picture of a sunny beach. This makes the word look attractive and match the theme of your design. Using font frame is very easy. First, open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for font frame. Choose the text style you like, type your word or sentence, then pick any photo from Canva's library or upload your own photo. The picture will appear inside the letters. You can also change the font style, the size of the letters and the position of the photo. If you want, you can make the photo bigger or smaller or move it around until it looks perfect inside the text. If you want me to give you a tip, so use high quality photos with the bright colors. This way your letters will look clear and beautiful. And choose fonts that are thick and bold so the photo inside is easy to see. If you want your text to be more than just letters, font frame is the app you should try. So now the second app on our list is called Type Gradient. Type Gradient is a Canva app that lets you add beautiful gradient colors to your text. A gradient means your text changes smoothly from one color to another. It's not just one flat color, it can be two or more colors bending together. Using type gradient is very simple. First, open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for type gradient. Choose the style you like, type your text and then pick the colors for the gradient. You can choose two colors, three colors or more. You can also control the direction of the gradient. It can go from top to bottom, left to right or even diagonal. This gives you more freedom to match the style of your design. If you want me to give you a tip, choose bright high contrast colors so the gradient effect is easy to see and choose a bold font so the colors show clearly. If your font is too thin, the gradient might not look as strong. The best thing about type gradient is that it makes your text look creative in just a few clicks. You don't need advanced design skills and you don't need to manually create gradients. The app does it for you instantly. So if you want your words to pop, shine and grab attention, type gradient is a perfect tool to try in Canva. So now the third app on our list is called Brand Fetch Logo. Brand Fetch Logo is a Canva tool that helps you quickly get any company's logo inside your design. Instead of searching on Google, downloading images and removing the background, you can simply use this app to get the official logo in seconds. It's very easy to use. Open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for Brand Fetch Logo. Then type the name of the company you want. For example, if you type Nike, you will see the Nike logo appear instantly. The best thing is that the logos are usually high quality and have a transparent background. This means you can place them anywhere in your designs without worrying about white boxes or blurry images. You can resize the logo, change its position and use it in many types of designs. If you want me to give you a tip, always make sure you have permission to use the logo in your project, especially if it is for commercial use. For personal or educational designs, you can freely use it to make your work look professional. Brand Fetch logo saves a lot of time, no more searching, downloading and editing. You just type the name and the logo is ready to use. If you work with brands, make presentations or create marketing content, this app will make your work faster and much easier. So now the fourth app on our list is called Image Blender. Image Blender in Canva is a tool that helps you mix your image smoothly with the background. It's like your picture slowly fades into the background color or design. So using Image Blender is very simple. Open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for Image Blender. Select your photo and choose how you want it to blend. End. You can fade it from top to bottom, bottom to top or even from the sides. You can also control how strong the blend is. A light blend will keep most of your image visible but makes the edges soft. A strong blend will hide more of the image and mix it deeply with the background. If you want me to give you a tip, Image Blender is a small tool but it makes your designs look much more professional in just a few clicks. So now the fifth app on our list is called Image Upscaler. Image Upscaler is a Canva tool that makes your photos bigger and sharper without losing quality. Normally, when you take a small image and make it larger, it becomes blurry or pixelated. But with Image Upscaler, you can increase the size and keep it clear. It works very simple. Open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for Image Upscaler. Load your image and the app will automatically make it bigger and improve the quality. You don't have to do any complicated editing. It's all done in seconds. If you want me to give you a tip, start with the best quality version of the image. The Upscaler can improve quality, but if the photo is extremely 
extremely blurry to begin with it may not look perfect after enlarging the best part is that this app uses smart technology to fill in missing details so the final image looks natural not stretched or fake so now the sixth app on our list is called easy reflection easy reflection is a canva tool that creates a mirror like reflection of any image for example if you have a product photo you can use easy reflection to make it look like it's placed on a glossy table it gives a clean modern and professional feel to your design using easy reflection is simple open your design in canva go to the app section and search for easy reflection choose your image and the app will automatically creates a copy of it flipped upside down the flipped image becomes the reflection you can adjust the distance between the image and its reflection make the reflection softer or reduce its visibility to make it look more realistic if you want me to give you a tip use a background that matches the effect for example a plain color or a light gradient works well with clean reflections also reduce the transparency a little so the reflection looks natural instead of too sharp so now the seventh app on our list is called reshape reshape is a canva tool that lets you change the shape of any image in a creative way it gives you tools like distort skew perspective and wrap so you can bend and twist your image however you like using reshape is very easy open your design in canva go to the app section and search for reshape choose your image select the effect you want with distort you can stretch the corners of an image to make it look like it's moving or tilted skew lets you slant the image from side to side or top to bottom perspective can make your image look like it's lying flat or standing up at an angle like in a 3d view and wrap lets you bend your image in a different curves to create fun and artistic shapes you can make a small changes for a natural look or big changes for a bold creative effect if you want me to give you a tip use reshape carefully when working with people's faces too much distortion can make them look unnatural but with objects text or creative graphics you can go wild and experiment reshape is a simple tool but it gives you a full control over how your image look it can make your design stand out add depth and give a fresh perspective all in just a few clicks so now the eighth app on our list is called frame blur frame blur is a canva tool that lets you blur certain parts of your design to create focus or style instead of blurring the whole image you can choose exactly where you want the blur effect it has three main ways to blur brush shape and text with brush you can paint the blur anywhere on the image you can control the brush size and how soft or hard the edges of the blur are with shape you can blur only inside a certain shape like a circle or rectangle with text you can blur inside text shapes to create cool effect you can also choose from different blur types like color blur or motion blur or zoom blur the intensity slider controls how strong the blur is low intensity for a soft effect high intensity for a dramatic look if you want me to give you a tip use blur carefully so it guides the viewer's eyes to the important part of the design too much blur everywhere can make the design messy so now the ninth app on our list is called texture Texture in a Canva is a tool that adds a surface feel or patterns to your design. Instead of a flat plain background, texture make it look more natural, stylish or aesthetic. For using texture is a simple. Open your design in Canva, go to the app section and search for texture. Pick the style you like and drag it into your design. You can place it over your background or on top of specific elements. If you want, you can adjust the transparency so the texture is softer and doesn't overpower your design. If you want me to give you a tip, keep the texture subtle. If you have a lot of text in your design this way the words will still be easy to read but if your design is more visual you can make the texture stronger for bold effect now the 10th app on our list is called typecraft typecraft is a canva tool that lets you create unique custom shaped text instead of keeping your text in a straight normal line you can bend it curve it and stretch it or reshape it in many creative ways In Typecraft you can choose your font and then pick a style none for normal fill text unfill for a hollow look and outline for text with just borders you can also choose your own colors for the text one of the best feature in Typecraft is the mirror point option this lets you create symmetrical shapes by mirroring your text horizontally vertically or both for example you can make text that curves evenly on both sides or flip in a cool mirror design after that you can use the edit shapes section to drag and move the blue points around your text this gives you a full control to stretch certain parts tilt letters or make wavy shapes 
If you make a mistake, you can simply click reset shape to go back to normal. If you want me to give you a tip, use bold fonts when reshaping text so the letters stay clear and readable even after bending. And keep your design balanced by not overwrapping. Too much can make it hard to read. So these were my top Canva tools that can take your designs to the next level. Now it's your turn. Which one will you try first? Tell me in the comments. I would love to know. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss my future design tips. And share this video with your friends so they can also create stunning designs just like you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video with more creative ideas.